Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you are all having a great day. The opinions expressed in this video are my own and should not under any circumstances whatsoever be taken as legal, tax, and or investment advice. As always, it is imperative that you do your own research when it comes to matters of cryptocurrency or when it comes to matters of investing your own money. Now that that's been said, let's jump right into it. This is a requested video. I've been getting a couple of these the last couple of weeks. And people have been asking me this uh, very interesting question. Um, how many Bitcoin does one need in order to become rich? Or what is the appropriate amount of Bitcoin for a person to have? So once again, my opinion and the opinion of others, this is not to say that you should go out there and do these things. However, this is what the math actually comes down to. First of all, there are only 0 0.003 Bitcoin for every single person on this planet. If you divide it up, there is supposed to ever be 21 million Bitcoin maximum based on the uh, code in the computer. And if you divvy that up against every single human on this planet, you would get a 0 0.003 for every single person on the planet. However, according to napkin math completed by someone named Hodelnot, a Netherlands-based Bitcoin enthusiast, there are only 300,000 Satoshi, that is to say 0 0.003 Bitcoin, available for every single human alive today. At the current market valuation, such a crypto sum is valued at around 11, it's give or take $11, depending on when you're watching the video, which is the minimum hourly wage in a number of US states. So that is to say, based on simple math, if you took the hourly wage of someone in America and you took that $11, roughly, somewhere around there, and put that directly into Bitcoin, you would have as much Bitcoin as every other human on this planet would ever be able to have. That is to say, if you put in $22, you would have more Bitcoin than many other people on the planet could ever even think of having because of how scarce that it actually is. Continuing on, because it is still very early and there are still many people who are not paying attention to this new phenomenon that we call Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency space, if you actually hold or have or have purchased or are in possession of 0 0.28 Bitcoin, that is roughly around one fourth of a Bitcoin, you are then part of the 1% of people who will ever hold Bitcoin ever in the entire world. We have a very huge discussion that's been going on within the cryptocurrency space for a couple of months. Uh, I've realized many other people have realized and I have told many other people on this channel before to please pay attention about to the amount of Bitcoin that is actually being accumulated by some of the very richest people on this planet. There are at least several dozen, not two dozen, not three dozen, maybe five, six, seven dozen, if not more people on the planet who have come forward or have told or whatever the case might actually be that they hold a very large amount of Bitcoin. And that is to say anywhere over 10,000 Bitcoin a piece per person. We know that there are also other instances where people do also hold 100,000 Bitcoin. That is because they are accumulating because they see or believe in the future potential of the cryptocurrency. So keeping that in mind, even if you just have those five dozen people who have over 10,000 Bitcoin each, you then get to a situation where if you are actually holding that 0 0.28, you're a lot higher than the 1%. You are in a class of people that... I can't even put it into words. You are, you will have more than any other person on this planet could never even begin to even dream of actually having because of the actual scarcity of the cryptocurrency. For those who are unaware or did not know, there are, once again, there can only ever be 21 million Bitcoin maximum. What happens is every single time that a Bitcoin is mined or a, the Bitcoin are created on the network, usually... The way that we have it right now, 12.5 coins are created per block. In 383 days, at least at the time of me making this video, that is to say next spring in 2020, the reward is going to get cut in half to 6.25 coins that are going to be created. And that'll also get cut in half as well another four years after that. This is very significant because the amount of Bitcoin that are going to be created once again, is going to get cut in half and this will cause a major scarcity in the cryptocurrency space we already have a bit of a scarcity when it comes to people who are uh, actively trying every single day to actually buy more and more bitcoin the idea is or people suggest that by the time we get closer to this event it may seem like it's far away now but we also thought that about four or five years ago as we get closer to this event more people will try to buy bitcoin 
then come to the realization that there are other people already on the planet who hold 10, 15, 20, 35 Bitcoin already, and therefore they will never be, I don't, I don't want to use the word as rich as them. They will never obtain as many Bitcoin as those other people, and therefore this will cause a frenzy as more people try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as humanly possible, coming to the realization that uh, they will probably never be able to hold 0.28 Bitcoin, which is something that sounds a little insane right now, but we will eventually get to this point. Once again, my opinion, where Bitcoin becomes so scarce because a lot of people aren't paying attention to it right now. This is just kind of something that happens with the price, kind of just happens with life in general. People tend to not pay attention to things that are uh, not in the news. And I think that Bitcoin is not in the news as heavily right now because of uh, my opinion. I think that some of the richest people on the planet, which we already know about because we have heard about them before, are accumulating as much Bitcoin as humanly possible. We had a news uh, story sometime last year where there was a guy in Dubai, very popular story. Uh, over the course of a, I think, three or four month period, he himself had accumulated over 30,000 Bitcoin. So one can only assume that this is definitely continuing on. And I have a strong feeling that he has not stopped accumulating. Part of this as well, there is a guy, his name is Charlie Lee, very famous in the cryptocurrency community. He is the creator of a coin called Litecoin, which is meant to be the silver to Bitcoin's gold. Uh, sometime last year, he made a bit of a ruckus, if you will, when he announced that he believes that everyone on the planet should at least uh, strive, if you will, to buy at least one Bitcoin, even before the cryptocurrency that he created himself. Part of the really interesting part is, is that a lot of the people who heard this message were people who were in the cryptocurrency community, which also then leads us to another situation. Once again, if you are holding 0 0.28 Bitcoin, you are already in the 1%. So what happens when you are in this close-knit community who is already accumulating a lot more cryptocurrencies than other people? I've told my listeners and many other people before, if you are already into the cryptocurrency space or you have been for quite a bit of time, uh, you are very, very lucky because you are at the very beginning of something that many other people on this planet have not even begun to realize is going to completely change their life. So when it comes to the idea of how much Bitcoin one should own, in my opinion, I like the idea of the 0 0.28. I understand that obtaining an entire Bitcoin for some people may be not within their range. Uh, if you are capable of doing so, I would suggest having at, or trying to obtain at least a tenth of a Bitcoin. That is to say 0.10. I have advised many of my friends as well who are looking to invest in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, whatever the actual case might be, but they're looking to get into the cryptocurrency space. I tell them before anything else, try to obtain at least a tenth of a Bitcoin and every single month put a little bit more inside of that. If you find that to be difficult as well, you can even just get, my opinion, I would say 0 0.01, that is to say around $40, $50 worth of a Bitcoin so that you know that you have at least three times as much as any other human on this entire planet will. Uh, when it comes to the actual number, if you are able to do so, remember, never, ever, ever invest more money than you can afford to lose. If you put your money into cryptocurrencies and it goes down to zero tomorrow, you cannot shed a tear. That's how, how much conviction you have to have for this. I would say, I think it is very smart if you own one hundredth of a Bitcoin, 0 0.28, but if you can, I would say go for a full Bitcoin because there's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes. There are a lot of people who are accumulating and it will be impossible for many people on this planet to ever own fragments of a Bitcoin. Now that sounds a bit intense, but this is exactly how things are going, especially if you've been paying attention over the last couple of years. And there are a lot of people, especially uh, even people who don't like Bitcoin within the cryptocurrency space, they also suggest that people at least try to obtain one. No, it might be difficult, but it will pay off in the future. So when you talk about the actual uh, reasons why we talk about these numbers for Bitcoin, and especially why I tell my friends at least to have 0 0.10, that is to say one-tenth or 10% of an entire Bitcoin, it becomes, it comes down to the fact that 
it is widely believed within the cryptocurrency space that as the cryptocurrency market continues to go up in the simplest ways without digging too far or too deep into it, Bitcoin hit $20,000 in 2017. Since then, we have seen at least a 15x fold in the amount of people who have were in the market in 2017 who are into the market now. A lot of these are major players. These are stock exchanges. These are people who make the world of money move. I don't really know how else to put that into words. Uh, it is believed that because we hit $20,000 per Bitcoin before, eventually at some point we are going to hit $1,000, $100,000 per Bitcoin. There was also a news article by a, it was a Swiss bank, Swiss outlet, Swiss something. I can't remember exactly what it was at the moment. They said that by the time that Bitcoin hits around a quarter of a million dollars, it'll have enough power to be a world currency and potentially supplant or move the US uh, dollar from its current position. And this is where it kind of gets completely insane because once the idea of Bitcoin becoming so powerful and so large, uh, when we get to the quarter million dollar Bitcoin, it is then believed, you know, at that point, a million is the next goal. And then from there, when you have a million dollar Bitcoin, Bitcoin itself is worth more, even right now, uh, worth more than most countries on the world and completely obliterates any other GDP that many other countries have. And this is why it is widely believed. No one knows if this is going to happen. A lot of people are fairly certain. I will be completely honest with you. I am more than certain at some point. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow. I'm not sure if it's going to be two, three, four, five years from now. The predictions range anywhere from two to 10 years that Bitcoin is going to hit between 10 plus million US dollars. I do believe at some point we're definitely going to have a $1 million Bitcoin. And at that point... And, I, and, and I'll be even more honest with you. I'm pretty sure at some point we're going to have a quarter of a million dollar Bitcoin, and that's going to happen within the next two years. My idea, my prediction, how I uh, presently feel about it. Um, and this is why, once again, if you go to the $10 million and I tell my friends to want at least a tenth of it, you would at least become a millionaire from a couple hundred dollars that you are putting into the market. There are a lot of people who have moved from the uh, the Wall Street game, if you kind of want to say it that way, who are moving over to the, into the cryptocurrency space, who wholeheartedly believe that at some point Bitcoin will definitely hit $10 million. This is only um, strengthened by the amount of news that we've had thus far in 2019, at the end of 2018 as well. But the mega financial institutions who are getting into the cryptocurrency space and who have announced such things as this, for those who may not be looking at the screen, it says... The New York Stock Exchange owner predicts Bitcoin becoming the first worldwide currency. This was also mimicked by the owner of the NASDAQ. And many other people are now doing the math and realizing that many people are accumulating an enormous amount of Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies. But since we're focusing on Bitcoin, let's stick with that. The idea is, once again, a 100,000 Bitcoin is going to happen. It's, it's, it's mathematically just going to be there there were very, there were very few people within the cryptocurrency space in 2017 and since we've seen a massive amount of institutional support and investments getting into the cryptocurrency space raging in the tens of trillion i i, I can't even it's, it's billions and billions of dollars if you've seen the other videos of people who have been getting into the cryptocurrency space it is widely believed bitcoin will easily be able to do a 5x from where it was before the idea of a one hundred thousand dollar bitcoin already gives bitcoin the strength and force that it needs to actually be the reserve currency for many countries around the world we have already seen this year and the end of last year, a couple of countries have come forward talking about issuing bonds directly on Bitcoin because they believe that it will strengthen their economy. We've also seen a couple of other countries as well allow um, legal Bitcoin remittances to go into their countries. That is to say, when money is legally being sent into their country, the government has allowed Bitcoin as a legal currency to actually fund uh, money transfers within their state or country or wherever they might live. There are a lot of economists who believe, uh, and this is part of my belief as well, there's uh, a movement going on that they are saying, rather, uh, I'll put it to you this way, in, in, in the simplest terms. If you are an investor, it is great to diversify. The idea is that everyone should have a diversified portfolio when it comes to investing. Should one thing fail or fall, the other things will potentially then go up, and this is how you diversify yourself. So the idea comes down to if... You decide, or one decides, to buy a tenth of a Bitcoin, at least, let's just say, it comes down to around, I think, $500 at the current rate. 
Should Bitcoin one day hit $10 million per coin, you have then made $1 million off of a $500 investment. Should, on the other hand, Bitcoin go completely to zero, the worst thing that has happened, worst thing, is that you have lost $500, which you shouldn't be afraid of or scared of or sad of missing because you should not be investing any more money than you can afford to lose in the first place. Uh, right. I would say it would be wise, especially after you have done your own research and looked further into the cryptocurrency community, to at least try to obtain one Bitcoin. Uh, you may not understand the actual scarcity of it right now. If you read around and you look around and you understand how many people are on this planet, there are billions of people on this planet who will never, ever, 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 ever hold 0 0.28 Bitcoin ever. If you hold one entire Bitcoin, you are probably setting yourself up to be one of the richest people in the world. Uh, just kind of how uh, things go. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening. Wherever you are, wherever you might be, please make sure to look into it. Uh, it is believed that we are very close to the beginning of the beginning uh, when it comes to Bitcoin firmly taking over the world because people understand uh, that Bitcoin cannot be replicated and that Bitcoin is probably very more than likely going to be the currency of the internet. I hope you all take this into account when it comes to investing. And as always, do your own research. Thank you all once again for watching and listening. I do appreciate all of your support.